I'm extremely grateful for the opportunity of having a few words with you and in doing so to pay tribute to Sheikh Hamosa, to Hassan Ali bin Ali and my friend Sherry Blair. The work that is being done by all of you in terms of addressing the question of achieving independence for those with disabilities is an issue that has long been concern of mine. In my work at the World Bank, I was able to address the question of that 10% of the global population who suffer in some way from disabilities. I was also able to address even more closely the issue of persons with disabilities in the developing world, where the number is closer to one in five or one in six, and where there is an interrelationship between physical capacity and the ability to make a living, and therefore the issue of poverty. Poverty gave me the key uh, to persons with disability. Not all persons, of course, who are affected are in poverty. But a large number of people present a compelling challenge to us to bring them into a full participation in society and to allow them to contribute in the way that they wish to. Basic to the challenge is the issue of education. And I give this the primary focus in what one needs to do in terms of unleashing the potential force of this community. It is, of course, essential also to provide the physical needs food, resources, to provide health care, and to provide the opportunities for people to have adequate living conditions. These are societal problems. And what we need to do is to look to ourselves first, to the community of those with disabilities, to see what we can do. But then also to be passionate advocates outside that community, to make sure that the community at large recognizes that persons with disabilities are not to be pitied. They are to be engaged because everyone in the, our community, in the disabled community, has something to contribute. And my work in the field has led me to understand that this is an enormous resource that we need to unlock. There are examples around the world of initiatives that really demand attention and acclaim. And one of those is, of course, the Shafala Center, uh, which is sponsoring our activities uh, during this conference, and which is setting standards, not just for the community of the Middle East, but for the world. I'm privileged because I feel that the opportunity to work with this segment of society is something that is a gift. And I look forward very much to positive results emerging from this remarkable series of meetings. And I look forward myself, together with my wife Elaine, who has taken such an active role in this field, to continuing our work with you to ensure that equity and opportunity is given to all.